Stephen, has life changed for you since you won the Olympic marathon title? Yeah, 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 yeah. Life has changed in different ways, so many ways. First of all, it has changed. You have seen me, I've, I've, I've got invitation to come and compete in London Marathon. That's one way. Uh, another way also, it has, um, I'm, I'm now a famous athlete in Uganda and the whole one. Does that bring extra pressure on you? Because before the Olympics, I, I think nobody ever really thought that you would be one of the contenders for a medal. Yes, sure. So has that brought pressure? To me, that one has no pressure on my side because I always uh, am very happy uh, when I'm running in the competitions. I'm always a happy guy and, and there is no pressure. You took a big decision in your life when you were 17 to move from Uganda to Kenya uh, and find better training partners. That must have taken a lot of courage. So many people would ask why. Why? Because uh, I moved to Kenya because of some factors. One, in the first place, we don't have... Uh, I saw the, the facilities in my country cannot support me. And also, uh, I saw also the company, you know. To train with the group is, is very important. And also uh, the coach and the altitude of the place. That all those factors made me to shift to Eldoret and your best time for the marathon is two hours, seven minutes. Now, the course record is some three minutes faster. The world record is four minutes faster. Do you think you're capable of running two hours, three, two hours, four? Because that could be what it takes to win London. It is possible to me to, for me to run under 204, but what matters is the preparation. If I prepare well, I can make that time. But for this time, uh, I will look forward to run my personal base.